Good afternoon. My name is Katrin Röckler. I'm a writer and the vice president of the Academy of Arts in Berlin. And I'm pleased to welcome you to this very special event. It's the opening moment of a series which is called the School which is called the School of Resistance. That's a collaborational platform for debates, which was founded by the theater and film director Milo Rao, the, um, uh, the founder of uh, IIPM, the International Institute of Political Murder, and the director of the Anti Ghent, um, the uh, city theater in Ghent. The School of Resistance was founded as a flexible organization with numerous artists and activists. We are therefore talking today about the question of entanglement of art and politics, about missing institutions and their symbolic founding, about activism and art, and what art can move and is not able to solve, the typical point of breaks fracture lines. We are sitting here in the building of the Academy of Arts in Berlin, at the location Hansi Artenweg, inside the studio. Our institution is celebrating this year its 325th uh, anniversary. It was founded in the year 1696 by Friedrich I, the Prussian king. The institution has a changing colorful history with fractures, for example, in the time of the 30s and 40s of the 20th century, during the Nazi regime. Today, it's a model for, uh, for democra uh, democracy of arts. About 450 members are debating and working in it. It's a model for a wide-ranging community of artists. Liberal or left, conservative and anarchistic thoughts come here together. We talk about art, which means also about public space, climate change, social justice. The building we are sitting in was created by Werner Dutzmann, a kind of Bauhaus aftermath building. It is a symbol for this open uh, discussion. Why am I talking so long about the, uh, the Academy of Art? It is an early model. It's known for many questions we will raise today. For example, today it is specially, especially challenged by the shutdown the consequences of uh, the pandemic regime, the pandemia. How will art continue? Can, for example, the cinema reopen afterwards? Which forms of art will sustain, uh, will be found? Is there any way an aftermath of the pandemic situation or will we stay in it? Which kind of architecture or public spaces will be places, at the, uh, places of the art? How can art claim to speak to everyone or to be a connecting element of society. We will raise these questions and many others during the next days together with Milo Rao, Rao, members of the Academy and other connected artists. What is a symbolic institution? Can it become real? How is this kind of political fantasy world building? Is it then losing something? Is beauty something which evolves out of dialogic struggle? not something that can be developed alone. Due to the pandemic situation, we decided to link these debates to film screenings, which show the work of the last 15 years. We start with the General Assembly today. Then later this evening, we will be able to see the last days of the Georgescus. The next days will be shown arrest in Mosul, the Congo Tribunal, the Moscow trials and the new gospel. His latest film publica publication, uh, uh, yeah, we will see on, on Sunday, I think. Sunday, yeah, yeah. Sunday. Mm -hmm. Documents of an activistic activity, global thinking and acting. In the center, there is a main issue always world history, revolution, revolution and justice handled. My grateful thanks belong to the curators, Martin Waldes-Stauber and Kasia Wojcik and the whole team of the IIPM, Medico International, Merve Verlag, European Alterner Alternatives, ECCHR, Allianz Kulturstiftung, and Howl Round Theatre Commons, but also to Björn Matzen and his team, that they could arrange everything here at the Hanseatenweg in tough times. In the next 90 minutes, we will, we will follow the path of the General Assembly and start together 
uh, with a conversation with Milo, Milo Rau and Georg Seeslen, and we will watch the march to the Reichstag in German more impressive Sturm auf den Reichstag. <laughs> Therefore, it is an honor to welcome here on stage Milo Rau, the founder of IIPM and director of Antigen. Gent, Gent. He is a mysterious man staying in different places at the same time. <laughs> During the preparation of these upcoming events in Berlin, he was also in, in Geneva, in, in, in Genf, where he was rehearsing the o Mozart opera La uh, Clemenza de Tito. <laughs> and the opening night uh, was some days ago, I think On last Friday. Yeah. Last Friday. And three days ago. Three days. Oh, yeah. yeah. Four. It's no. Very, very yeah. fresh. It is always astonishing to hear what you are planning and where you are staying at the same time and um, uh, what are you arranging in which part of the world. And knowing you for a longer time, I would say that you started your work with reenactments, continued it with pre-enactments, always with a theatrical sidekick, mm -hmm. some more somehow traditional theater work at the Schaubühne or elsewhere. Um, You published your German books at the Verbrecher Verlag, and it's not easy to define what is the main thing, the film, the book, the theater, play. Um, how would you yourself describe your work? Uh, is this a question for you, this timeline I just constructed uh, from reenactment to pre-enactment to a wider spreading Uh, media work, uh, is there, um, do you see yourself, is this important for you anymore to, to, to see this move? Um, yeah, uh, thanks for having us here, by the way, <laughs> in the Academy of the Arts. So it's really a big pleasure to be here. The, 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 the first idea was to make an exhibition here. Now we have an online film series with guests. And I think when you when you when when we watch the next days back on, on 13, 14, 15 years of uh, of work we did in different parts of the world and in different mediums, I think what is uh, generally the same from the beginning until now, and which is which is I think um, let's say my general rule mm -hmm. of of IRPM, uh, I, I just wrote it down because you mentioned it. Beauty can't be developed alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, okay, we can talk about the term of beauty and so on. But for me, uh, the idea of creating what I call utopic collectives, so mm -hmm. bringing people together and see when they produce together what will happen. Mm -hmm. So when, for example, in the last days of the Ceausescu's, I saw this, uh, this tribunal against the Ceausescu's in 89 when I was 12, year, 12 years old in television, Mm -hmm. at my at my grandmother's television and uh, and then sometimes later 10 20 years later I went to Romania to work together with with activists and artists of Romania to make a reenactment so a restaging of this tribunal and then this restaging of the tribunal acted again on uh, on the on the on the society in 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 uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Romania because one outcome was uh, a trial against me and my production company because we used the name of Ceausescu because the son of Ceausescu made a brand out of the name of the Ceausescus and I didn't give him money and then even started another history. So I think what is typical for our work is that it's like throwing stones into a lake mm. and then documenting what, uh, what happens. And uh, of course, that can be books or films or, or a series or discussions like here or, or parliaments or, mm. or parties or very classical plays or operas. And, yeah. uh, and I think there is a big interaction in between the form we mm. use and uh, what happens during the production process. And I think what we do as, a, as an institute and in the end again is somehow documenting yeah. uh, what happens while we are trying to achieve uh, an artwork. But normally we only document the process. Yeah, yeah, and it's, it's not, not a difference uh, if you are uh, documenting something which had happened somehow and, or, or um, building something which hasn't happened yet. 
Yeah, you know. The future is uh, so it's not it's not so far away. I, I think it's it's uh, it's somehow uh, the same. I mean, you you today I had a, a radio interview in preparation of this uh, of this of this series, and I was asked, but where is the connecting the point in between art and politics? Mm -hmm. And I said, there is no connecting point because actually it's the same. I yeah, think yeah. politics okay. or society is just a normalization of an act of art, of an act of creation. When the first parliament was created, mm. the first national parliament, the French parliament during uh, or in the beginning of the French Revolution, it was just like some people connecting and saying, okay, that's now we are the nation, yeah. we are the parliament. And that yeah. was people declaring it out of, of a void, into a void, but then happened what happened and today the French parliament is something that is normalized. Yeah. And I think that's what we call this, or you called it symbolic institutions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I think you said 1671 or something when Friedrich I created this, uh, or the second or whoever, the Academy of the Arts. It was just somebody saying, okay, this is the Academy of the Arts and invite these people and these are the Academy members. And then this institution was, mm. was created. And then this institution evolved and will evolve yeah, forever. Yeah. And I think that's how how we develop. And of course, you can make a photo. We can make a photo now of the Academy or of, I don't know. Mm. In, in theatre, you always have the date of the premiere. And in film, you have the date of the release. And at that moment, you somehow have to be finished. Mm. But if it would be a year earlier or a year later, uh, the product would be completely different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. maybe we continue afterwards yes, about please. this. Uh, <laughs> because we have a second guest, uh, Georg Seeslen. I would like to welcome him here. He Hello. Is not, he is not in the Academy. He is in Kaufbeuren in Bayern, in Bayovaria. Sitting uh, uh, far away, but very close uh, uh, in terms of uh, our conversation. Um, he's a member of our academy. He's a writer, author of many books with the topics of art and money, stupidness, uh, controlling regime, right-wing populism, film, film and film. I have to admit, I know you as a film critic uh, first uh, was the first uh, uh, notion I got from you. You are publishing in numerous publishing houses as the well-known Surkamp Verlag. You are also teaching, broadcasting at the public radio. Uh, and here you will uh, not be uh, the, on, the, the only one time here uh, today, but also on Sunday you will moderate uh, another panel uh, at my place here. Um, uh, um, about the new gospel uh, on, on Sunday. Absolutely. And you are at the moment developing together with the Goethe Institute something very interesting, um, um, a, a platform or a series of poor, for poor cinema. Maybe you can tell us a little bit more about this. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. Um, I think I am... Um, taking the lessons Milo taught me <laughs> in this uh, project because uh, it, um, it has two um, grounding uh, theories. The one is how um, has developed um, the mm, mm, uh, global uh, factoring of moving pictures. And uh, I think it's in a state that you can't um, tell something about really independent filmmaking. So we have to reinvent independent filmmaking and we can't do it in the ways in, in the institutions they gave us uh, because there are six or seven big players in uh, the world who control the market of moving pictures. And um, so we, we have to um, find a way to uh, develop a micro economy of independent films. And for a starting, yeah, we uh, try to, to make uh, cinema povera, like, uh, you know, arte povera, uh, with um, nearly nothing. <laughs> uh, we, we use uh, only our uh, smartphones, our uh, handheld computers, and maybe some um, uh, 
let's say some some toys uh, like like uh, toy drones or, or uh, remote control cars or so and dolls and and, and things like that so so and, uh, this is uh, to to say we make our really our movies with our production values with our production uh, media and um, um, we develop um, a market for ourselves or a non-market for ourselves uh, because we know even if we um, work on a let's say a materialish uh, um, level we feed the big players we feed the so-called online capitalism and we don't like to feed this online capitalism mm. So what we learned from Milo, uh, it is uh, very important to uh, overcome the rules and the, the limits of um, art forms and uh, in, a, in a technical way, uh, also in an aesthetical way. So, so the, uh, the, the big aim for this uh, starting um, very poor and ending very rich <laughs> because we, we are taking together all the things we have and uh, for instance one of one of our uh, uh, um, ambitious uh, uh, projects is um, filming Homer's Odyssey only with a uh, smartphone uh, uh, cameras uh, around the world you know uh, a, a film will develop around the world um, starting with you know that are uh, 24 chapters of the uh, UDC and um, every station is one chapter and then the film moves to the next station the next country, to the next culture, to the next artists, and it develops one times around the world. And um, if it's finished, it's the new Odyssey of um, only made by by uh, production that we we have to uh, ourselves. So I hope this will uh, be the biggest game I ever saw. Um, yeah, and and the 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 other problem is that um, I I think um, after the uh, pandemic crisis uh, we, we we can't get uh, to back to norm normality like like uh, politicians uh, uh, promises so. We we open reopen cinemas, we reopen theaters, we um, reopen galleries, and so on. Um, I, I've made some um, research for for, for uh, another book project, uh, talking a lot with um, young artists in every uh, field of art, and a lot of them. Um, lost their face in the profession and uh, they they um, uh, um, changed their profession they, they, they just uh, um, stop being artists because there's no uh, political economy to to, to uh, make a living from so i think and that if if we uh, would really uh, go back to normality it's uh, the same thing in in any uh, other field. Um, we have the winners and we have the lo the, the losers, and uh, I know who the winners are <laughs> and who the, the losers are. Uh, and so I'm uh, try to be on the yeah. side of the losers. Pardon? So, sorry, are there any winners mm -hmm. in the art scene? I can't. I'm yeah, maybe certainly, naive, but certainly. Uh, <laughs> I mean, now of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, of course, the big oh, certainly. Ah, yeah, but artists. I'm a, I'm a artist. artist uh, okay. Yes, uh, every artist uh, who ha could be 
branded uh, for uh, the platforms. It, it's a uh, okay. kind of uh, um, you, you know if if you if you are established, you will be more established after the the crisis. And uh, if you the bigger are, get bigger, the smaller gets smaller. The, actually, yeah, like that's in that's every that's crisis. Huh? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. and and so no. as an critic or as an as an uh, activist in in this field, I I feel. Um, the duty to be on the loser side and and to to find new ways to organize organize art in our society maybe it's a uh, also a uh, uh, you you it's it's political at the beginning it it's it's uh, you can't like like milo said uh, there is no difference between uh, politics and art uh, it's it's just uh, the Two sides of, of one coin, yeah. Yeah. If I can if I can intervene here yeah, a yeah, second. Of and I think I mean, you know, what we have to overcome is the idea of the product. That as an artist you would yeah. produce a film, but actually what you produce is a production process, but it's also you produce a distribution. So what you do as an artist, you have to take over the production process and the distribution process. And I think that's what you're Georg, that's what you're what you are talking about, that you can't yeah, think yeah. about the product anymore. The product is just a point in the whole mm -hmm. timeline mm -hmm. uh, of making uh, art or making politics. Yeah, I think this yeah, is the, the product is you yeah. get hold of everything. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that you would take over the whole process, the whole uh, institution. Yeah. Of yeah. Yeah. You, know, you you have to make art of the world, <laughs> and you have to make. Uh, uh, change the society into a uh, work of art, then uh, maybe uh, uh, you you can get a little step to democracy. Yeah. Um, I, I like the the, the, the uh, term you used. It, it's like uh, throwing a stone in, in the water and and see what's happening. And, and but really see it, not not only uh, yeah, well uh, I threw the stone and then uh, goodbye. No, no, it's it's. Uh, we are responsible also for, for uh, the stones and the waves we made. Yeah, yeah. But, and the uh, lake in itself, and the whole lake. It's the lake, yeah. And yeah. the hand so, that is throwing, the, so <laughs> everything. Yes. And of course the stone. Everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and so, and also, there, there is no more difference between critics and, and artists, uh, and, and theories and, and artists, I, I think, that, that they have, they have to, to to not only to work together like we did, uh, uh, like discussing and, and so on. No, I, I think uh, um, the, the process of making art is in itself also the making of theory or, or the, the, the forming, the searching for a theory. And, and the other way around, I think uh, uh, every uh, attempt to um, theorize about uh, this uh, situation uh, has to be uh, considered as a work of art. Yeah, the problem of, I think, the separation of theory and practice, which we have a lot in the art field, where you would have theorists or critics and art makers, and they can't even know each other. So this problem to overcome, that's the reason why we don't produce new institutions, because they are not thinkable because we have only the way of producing works inside the institutions we have. But, and that's one, one point perhaps to then for, step for me, to the next. Yeah, it's, but it's, one a, point. it's a next, uh, it's a really interesting question because yeah. uh, I think the point is not the institution first, but the sustainable, sustainability of an institution. That it's not, um, art is always um, somehow a moment, not, not a moment, but it's, uh, or some moments, yeah? But it's not uh, a thing of, 20 years, 100 years. No, 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 but uh, let, let give me uh, an example. For example, we have the institution of city theatres in Germany. Yeah. And they are made out of a special kind yeah. of ensembles, of a specially trained artists that can give you a special way yeah. of a traditional yeah. text and stage them. Yeah. And that's why they are made for, and it's very difficult inside these institutions yeah. to change them without changing the institutions and the way they produce. Mm -hmm. And I think this is what I call critique, yeah. to construct new institutions or reconstruct institutions yeah. we have to make other products or other ways of yeah. producing. Yeah. 
That's the yeah, that's yeah. the point. Because, for example, yeah, yeah. the school of resistance. For me, the interesting point is, uh, for example, talking with Georg, who is a, who is a mainly a, for me a critique of 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 the arts, and to see his input over uh, talking with somebody from mm. Brazil and to understand they have the same problems as us, perhaps. Because in global capitalism, strangely, the problems are quite the same, but they have completely other ways to tackling them. And for example, the, the, the way that the landless movement in Brazil is occupying land, which is possible in the institution of Brazil, I found out it's also possible in the institution of Germany to occupy land mm. if they are not used in mm -hmm. a legal way. You know, mm -hmm. I didn't know that. And this is the kind of where knowledge and practice mm -hmm. comes together. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm afraid we should slowly we, yeah, no, step yeah. to the... I think we, we uh, step the <laughs> film to the... It's a short film about the Very General short, Assembly, yeah. uh, which was staged, uh, <laughs> somehow staged, uh, three or four years ago. Yeah, 17. And, uh, and we see now a shortcut somehow out of the process. Kind of a feature yeah. that was made by, by, by television of yeah. 60 minutes, 70 Six minutes. minutes. Yeah. yeah, very short. Okay. So, so, are we online already? Yeah. Also der, da wo der Sturm quasi durchgeht in seiner Breite absteckt. Le monde est en perpétuelle révolution. Vamos lutar por liberdade. Dieses Wochenende fand in Berlin an der Schaubühne die erste Zusammenkunft des Weltparlaments statt. In drei Tagen sprachen und debattierten 70 Abgeordnete und stimmten über 15 Tagungspunkte ab. Die Abgeordneten stammten aus über 20 Ländern. Es haben an der General Assembly aber auch acht Mitglieder des Bundestags teilgenommen. Applaus Lucio Bellentani, Abgeordneter der ersten General Assembly, der hier links neben mir steht, ist ein Abgeordneter und Gewerkschaftsführer von Tausenden von brasilianischen Automobilarbeitern und Automobilarbeiterinnen, die beim deutschen Hersteller VW arbeiten. Branski Hangi spricht für die Millionen von Minenarbeitern des Ostkongo. Allein die zehn Abgeordneten der General Assembly, die hier versammelt sind, sprechen für mehr Menschen als das ganze deutsche Parlament. Viva a Fraternidade Internacional! Viva a Solidariedade Internacional! E continuamos na luta! Obrigado! História da Nação retendrá a data de 7 de novembro de 2017 como em um marqué la retire avec um passé sombre. Cette date restará fortemente ancrée dans la mémoire coletiva comme le début de long processus d'instauration d'un nouvel ordre politique mondial. nun auf zum Sturm auf den Reichstag. Nach dem Vorbild des legendären Sturms auf den Winterpalast, wie der Regisseur Nikolai Eferinov ihn im Jahr 1920 inszenierte. Der Sturm findet statt 100 Jahre nach der 
Oktoberrevolution, um genau zu sein, 97 Jahre nach dem Reenactment von Efrenov. Wir wollen dieses Bild befragen und sagen, wie können wir heute, 100 Jahre später, nach all diesen Erfahrungen, diesem Totalitarismus Stalin, Auschwitz, zwei Weltkriege, Klimakollaps, der uns jetzt bevorsteht, wegen einem leerdrehenden Kapitalismus, wie können wir dieses Projekt der Moderne, der Befreiung des Menschen, noch mal anders wenden? Nicht indem man jetzt irgendwo reinstürmt und die Macht übernimmt, sondern indem wirklich es wirklich eine basisdemokratische Erhebung gibt auf der ganzen Welt, wo man sagt, wir müssen diese globalen Strukturen demokratisieren, sonst sind wir verloren. Und das ist das Weltparlament und dafür soll dieses Bild stehen. Ja, menurut saya sangat organisasi yang sangat besar untuk mempengaruhi publik di eh, Eropa, salah satunya di Berlin, untuk eh, bagian dari organisasi yang kuat menurut saya untuk membuat perubahan-perubahan eh, kebijakan di eh, Eropa. Please take your seat so that the session begins. Dear colleagues, I welcome you to this constitutive session of the General Assembly, the first world parliament in the history of humankind. É um momento muito real, muito muito verdadeiro. I will ask the first speaker of this evening, we are starting the session, Milo Rao. Sehr geehrte Präsidentin, liebe Vizepräsidenten, liebe Abgeordnete, in den nächsten drei Tagen wird in diesen Räumen das erste Weltparlament der Menschheitsgeschichte stattfinden. Wir werden über den Klimawandel sprechen, über die internationale Diplomatie, über die Regulierung des Welthandels, die nationale Souveränität, über die Meinungsfreiheit und, falls es sie gibt, ihre Grenzen. Why is our black brother's blood so cheap? Der Mensch ist nicht die Krone der Schöpfung. Die Weltgemeinschaft braucht wirklich so eine Gesetze. Ich denke, als Künstler muss man Institutionen schaffen, symbolische Institutionen, auch utopische Institutionen, weil es sie nicht gibt. Also es ist eher die Frage, warum gibt es eigentlich kein Weltparlament? Wir leben in einer globalen Wirtschaft, warum gibt es keine transnationalen Strukturen, die demokratisch sind? Also wo man sagen kann, die Zivilgesellschaft, wir laden jetzt mal diese Leute ein. Und es sind nicht einfach immer die äh, Abgeordneten der Nation, die diplomatisch genau das tun müssen, was ihre Nation wollen, nämlich alles blockieren, was nicht zu 100 Prozent in, äh, in ihrem Interesse ist. Wer ist denn eigentlich für die Jugendgeneration verantwortlich? wenn sie ihre Rechte nicht bekommt. Ich bin Obertel in Polskim und Obertel in Europa. Schickere mich, dass sie uns verabschieden sind von Europa. Amanda! Amanda! Power! To the people! Das ist voll. Das ist wirklich interessant. Uh, on sent qu'il y a des questions sérieuses qui commencent à être traitées. Alle Kinder, egal ob sie behindert sind oder nicht, haben ein Recht zum Leben. Sie selbst haben doch vorhin gesagt, dass sie ein Recht für das Leben plädieren. Warum nicht auch für die Kinder mit Down-Syndrom oder normale Kinder? Warum nicht? Néanmoins, si je peux permettre, néanmoins, le gros problème avec cette philosophie, c'est que, bon, moi je veux bien vous suivre, hein, donc que tous les enfants viennent au monde, mais alors il faut tout de même donner à l'enfant un certain droit à un moment donné, c'est le droit de déposer plainte contre ses parents s'il n'est pas heureux d'avoir reçu la vie. Dieselbe Frage stelle ich mir bei menschlichen Föten. Warum sollten die eigentlich keinen Schmerzempfinden haben? Wenn ich mir überlege, dass wir bei einer Abtreibung einer Frau ein Schmerzmittel geben, dem Embryo aber nicht, beziehungsweise dem Fötus, weil wir davon ausgehen, er hat dieses Schmerzempfinden nicht, dann denke ich, sollten wir da vielleicht auch nochmal nachhaken. Ya, tidak masalah. 
memang agak grogi tapi ini apa persoalan situasi dan kondisi saja soal uh, banyaknya uh, pak akademisi dan profesor itu juga semuanya ilmunya dari masyarakat jadi saya juga uh, uh, yang saya sampaikan adalah faktual fakta yang ada di masyarakat oke Salam demokrasi Saya berasal dari sebuah uh, provinsi di Jambi Kepulauan Sumatera Negara Indonesia Tapi kemudian Perubahan itu terjadi ketika permintaan Eropa terhadap minyak sawit Yang sangat masif Semua berlomba mengembangkan tanaman monokultur yang sangat tidak ramah terhadap masyarakat dan lingkungan Video ini uh, Kejadian tanggal tahun 2015 yang berlokasi di lahan gambut menyebabkan uh, banyaknya korban terutama di Jambi oleh perkebunan-perkebunan besar kelapa sawit mereka skema transisi membangun kebun-kebun berbasis kearifan masyarakat lokal dan adat dan apakah ada pola ekonomi global untuk membuka lebih luas pasar bagi produk-produk beragam dari masyarakat. Terima kasih. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yang kita bangun adalah uh, kebersamaan, kekuatan bersama uh, masyarakat seluruh dunia untuk membuat perubahan itu. Artinya uh, kelompok kecil yang kaya juga punya apa, tidak mungkin selamanya juga akan melaku, eh, eh, seperti itu. Nah, saya melihat ada ada semacam apa semangat di General Embassy untuk apa merontokkan semua. se nega a todo momento de assumir essa responsabilidade, embora com documentação oficial da Vox que estabelece a relação dela com o sistema repressivo brasileiro da ditadura. Thank you very much, Lucio. Your story is very touching, and um, the least we can do is to stand in solidarity with you. Thank you very much. Le telefone que nous portons entre nos mains, si les matières premières qui ont aidé à produire ces téléphones ont été extraites dans des conditions de violation des droits humains, s'il si y a eu des femmes qui ont été violentées parce qu'il fallait avoir ces matières premières, nous tous qui avons ces téléphones, nos mains sont souillées de sang. Dans la réunion ici, je ne suis pas en train de m'attendre directement à des solutions directes, c'est que c'est d'abord un message qui passe parce que j'ai toujours été convaincu que lorsque vos problèmes ne sont pas connus des autres, vous avez moins de chances d'avoir des solutions. That there is a democratic deficiency at the global level is a fact, and for us to be able to come through theatrical production or drama to imagine and envisage and play a role of someone who could be a representative at the world level has been really empowering for me. I see that it's a Kampf der Zivilisation to Why does Herr Semanoglu three times the time? democracy. is also the tolerance. The tolerance C'est écouter ce que vous voulez et ce que vous ne voulez pas. So in 2012, um, I discovered I was being a target by the Bahraini regime. And the story was that there's a German company that's selling its software to the Bahraini regime. And here is a woman who, who takes part in protests, um, who's being targeted by this. So the question is, why does the German government allow that to happen? Why is this software and technology allowed to be exported? And the reality is, 
that very little can be done to help resolve our problems in our local communities to get my friends out of prison. Please raise your hands and get them raised. But what I do have hope in is German people trying to maintain those democratic values in their own country. C'est une révolution qui n'est pas violente. C'est une révolution pacifique, car intellectuelle, où les gens ont des idées, ils disent que voilà, nous voulons nous exprimer et nous voulons que ces idées soient connues des dirigeants actuels. Que donc la manifestation, cet assaut qui sera organisé le mardi, ce n'est pas dans l'objectif de s'attaquer violemment au Parlement, mais plutôt une manière d'exprimer des idées que nous avons. Der Sturm hängt insofern als, sagen wir mal, Schlussereignis dieser ersten Abteilung des, des Weltparlaments damit zusammen, dass wir ein symbolisches Bild für diese Forderung schaffen wollen. Also die Leute stürmen auf diesen Reichstag zu, stürmen quasi bildlich in ihn hinein, um zu sagen, wir gehören hier rein. Ganz wichtig ist, wir stürmen bis zum Reichstag. One, two, go! Alle sind gekommen. Ich dachte ja, ich war ja ein bisschen hysterisiert. Ich dachte November Nachmittag 150 Leute und jetzt sind, ich weiß nicht wie viele gekommen, vielleicht 500. Also es ist, äh, ja ich bin irgendwie total berührt und aufgeladen. Ich pikir äh, Energie bertambah untuk apa? Untuk bersama-sama dengan teman-teman di seluruh dunia di Berlin untuk menciptakan dan membuat perubahan awal dari perubahan dunia. Ce serait intéressant si ça peut se faire à travers tout tout le continent. Que donc ça se passe aujourd'hui à Berlin, mais ce serait intéressant que ça se passe également à Paris. Pourquoi pas à Londres? Aux États-Unis, je crois que c'est un acte important qui, qui doit interpeller la conscience du monde et qu'il faut se dire qu'il faut des changements. Une révolution est notwendig, weil es wirklich eigentlich fast zu spät ist. Also an allen Punkten sind wir schon über den, über den Gefahrenpunkt hinaus. Also im Grunde befinden wir uns äh, wirklich so direkt vor dem Abgrund. Wir können uns aber noch äh, retten. Und ich glaube, es ist besser, sich jetzt nicht gegenseitig zu bewaffnen, also was aktuell der Fall ist, und sich zu bekämpfen, sondern eine Form zu finden, durch diese Krise als Menschheit, in die wir vielleicht 100 Jahre gehen, vielleicht 150 Jahre, vielleicht 200 Jahre, durch diese Krise als Menschheit irgendwie durchzugehen auf eine kluge Weise. Dann bringt den Georg wieder. Ja, wollt ihr in den Zoom gehen? Wir sind jetzt immer noch auf diesem Bild. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then I start. Um, 
was my first question. This was, uh, these were many impressive pictures we saw. Ah, here we are again. Here we are again. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I was wondering, um, you, you choose to, to uh, create a general assembly. Christoph Schlingensief has founded a party in 2000. Why, why general assembly and not, not a party? Um, I, 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 in 2000, 10 in my in my hometown in in St Gallen eastern Switzerland I created a, a government of change mm -hmm. and, and there we had a party and we were more in this kind of campaign work mm -hmm. and also in the new gospel we we founded the, the mm -hmm. Rivolta della Dignità which is a kind of a, of a campaign mm -hmm. to a party a big uh, movement of 42 I think NGOs and so on for the for the the rights of the farm workers in South Italy And uh, here we were interested to, to create what we called uh, a world parliament. Mm, so mm -hmm. it's, of course, a symbolic place where you come together and uh, to see on a, on a, on a, on a you'd, you could say, on a, on a, on a, on a, on a I mean, the, the, let's say the methodology was to ask ourselves what decisions of the German parliament should be discussed in the world parliament and mm -hmm. world uh, meaning time and space. So mm -hmm. of all the people touched, but also of the people that will be touched mm -hmm. later of the unborn mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. of the animals. Mm -hmm. So we had members, I don't, I'm not sure if it became clear in this little film, but we had also um, parliament members that were standing for the oceans mm -hmm. or for the, for the ah, bees. Okay. Or for the unborn, or for the, and so on. So uh, let's say it was it was it was something different from a from a party because yeah. a party very important, I think, always represents a lobby yeah. that would lobby for one yeah. important aim. And here we wanted really to bring together in a kind of a universalism all possible voices that are not represented in the German parliament. That was also the reason why we wanted to storm it and why we shouldn't, uh, I think, compare it with the storming of the Reichsbürger yeah, like yeah, some, yeah, yeah. some yeah, months yeah. ago. <laughs> <my> <laughs> they stormed it thought. because they are against democracy yeah. and yeah. we think that the democracy is not big enough, that yeah, there are yeah. not enough people, not enough voices inside the, the Reichstag, the German parliament. That's why we stormed it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's make it more clear. Um, but maybe it was... Exactly the thing I, I was seeing when I saw this film, uh, the, the Reichsbürger uh, last uh, November, I'm not sure, or October last year. When yeah, they, it was in November. No, uh, um, and this is a, maybe a question for Georg Seeslen. Um, it seems that uh, many, um, many images, public, uh, very, very intense uh, images are used at the moment uh, by the ri very right-wing people. Yeah? And they are, they seem to be more powerful using it. How does it come and what can we do about it? I think that's not a new phenomenon. Uh, it, it happened in the 30s uh, uh, in the wake of uh, the German fascism too. Um, and um, for, for me, seeing this film, let's say three times, four times, uh, I, I uh, get to know the difference. Uh, and, and maybe... Um, in the next step of making pictures, uh, um, we, we, we have to, to make it even more clear that what is the difference. Uh, you, you see the difference in, in uh, the, maybe you have to project uh, this film and uh, the documentary of the uh, fascist uh, going and and you would you would see what what is the difference maybe the, we, we we have we have a kind of uh, dialectical uh, montage to to do in in a process of of uh, understanding why uh, right um, movements um, conquer Uh, democratic and um, also artistic uh, uh, terms, pictures, uh, uh, rituals. And we will see that um, the, uh, an illustration of the, the um, most famous sentence of Walter Benjamin uh, um, that um, the fascists are um, aestheticizing politics and the left 
are politicizing yeah, aesthetics. Yeah. And, and you see it in every movement if you look close to it. You see it uh, how you, you um, cope with space, how you uh, cope with uh, togetherness, all these things. Um, and therefore, you, you, can, you can show um, exactly um, that um, the taking over of terms of pictures uh, has failed. Because the real thing, the real democratic and the maybe uh, revolutionary, uh, I, I prefer as a change gaming uh, uh, energy in, in uh, symbolic uh, um, institutions, um, resist this uh, um, conquering by the, by, um, the, the uh, right wing uh, movements. Um, the, the only problem or, or the, the, the real problem is how both things are represented in the mainstream media. So um, this uh, we we sometimes we 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 uh, make us uh, weaker than we are because uh, we 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 look out at ourselves through the eyes uh, of uh, television of of uh, um, mainstream press and and so on. But uh, I I would say that that um, um, this. Um, symbolic institution shows what art can be um, not only um, uh, the utopian way of um, ma making something uh, as a play that comes for real but also uh, uh, defining um, a space of uh, freedom, you know. Mm -hmm. um, Jean-Paul Sartre had uh, this, uh, I think, very beautiful uh, notion. He said, there has to be a pact of generosity between art and society, or between, in, in his case, between the text and, and the, the reader. And uh, this pact of generosity means that um, the, there is um, in every action both the collective movement and the individual freedom. And if you see the, at, uh, at also in, at, at the, the, the um, things happened at the Capitol in, in, in the United States, we also have a certain similitary to, to this installation, um, you see that there are no, n not at all, a any any hint of freedom. It's it's just violence for its, uh, its uh, own sake, and uh, it's it's just just acting out, um, um, acting out uh, violence against freedom, and so. Uh, for for me uh, as a critic, I, I see how how the space uh, is is filled, and and we we always know um, this will not lead to violence, because everyone is expressing that it will will not lead to violence. Maybe because it's. Um... Um, the, the the huge difference I would see uh, between uh, the both, uh, yeah occupations of sim symbolic um, uh, forms is that um, we can see in the, the General Assembly, you can see people arguing, people debating, people are, have different different sides. They are not, um, it's not the one picture, they are diverse, they are uh, 
it, it was uh, we, we can we can we can follow we can hear listen to some some uh, uh, anti-abortionist uh, uh, guys uh, also Nazis. Nazi, it's, it's 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 a mixture yeah mm. and it's not uh, and the the far right wing they would always um, symbolical uh, build a, a closed picture we are we are united in this and this question and you have I mean. Perhaps the most interesting moment was when the General Assembly was exploding. At one mm. moment, I don't know if you if you remember, at mm. that very moment you were there, mm. but uh, we had a moment when uh, I think it was a Turkish guy from yeah. the governmental party yeah. who was denying the genocide against Armenians. Yeah. And as we had Armenian uh, parliament members of the world parliament, we decided to throw him out uh -huh. of the hall and later we decided to bring him back. And then we found out that this was not, it was difficult to decide yeah. what are the rules and that we were in the beginning of the process yeah. to say what is the methodology of this parliament, yeah. of a world parliament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of course in a world parliament, how would you, for example, uh, represent oceans? And, yeah. Who can represent oceans? Yeah, and then you would create parties with lobbies yeah, for yeah. different ways of representing yeah. the oceans and so on. Yeah. So, But coming back to what, uh, what Georg said about the same image can look very different and be very different. And I think there it's really uh, context is, is, is everything. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's true that you can watching at the images of the storming of the Reichstag, mm -hmm. um, I think you can really see, are these the Reichsbürger or are these uh, the people from the General Assembly? Mm -hmm. But I think if you would show only two images of it, to somebody from another culture, I think it would be different. Or for some another time, it would be difficult to say, yeah, yeah. you know? And that's why context is everything. And I think this is mm. for me, let's say the only rule of communication, mm -hmm. give the whole context. I'm not even interested to see the end image of the storming. Mm. I just want to know how we came there. And from there, where did we go? What was happening with everybody yeah. in this, this general assembly? You know, what yeah. is whole, the whole the whole history of it. I think this is what is, uh, for me, is interesting mm. Uh, mm. By, by, by doing this kind of, of installation. So this was a film I didn't do myself. Mm. It, it's a TV feature. And it's, it's, it's very interesting as a documentary. But for me, there are many, of course, points missing in this kind of, of, yeah. of, of films just telling uh, what happened yeah. and not why and not knowing more about some... You know something about some characters, but not enough... Mm. You don't know about the whole failure that was in this project, mm. about the explosion of the whole <laughs> in the end. I mean, we didn't have a charter. We wanted to do a charter, but it was impossible because yeah. we had too many opinions. So in the end, we didn't come That's to a, exactly to a, to a charter. That's exactly the difficulty for a real institution. It's a it's difficulty produce, of, yeah, a, yeah. of a real yeah. institution. And yeah. even if you are kind of shortcutting yeah. everything yeah. by symbolizing it yeah. somehow only and by minimizing the problems you could yeah. have, uh, and also the time, you still go into that failure. And that's for me the most important yeah. and interesting thing when you see how an image breaks completely. And I don't mean it in a postmodern way that I always want to see failure and non-professionalism. And I think we overcame it. We have to find some answers, no? Mm. But at the same time, uh, if we don't, let's say, find practices... Mm -hmm that can lead us to answers and forge these practices mm. that can lead us to answers, mm. to collective global answers. That's what, mm. we, what we should do and what we try mm. to do. Mm. It's, it's very interesting, but I'm wondering, why are you still doing theatre work, so traditional theatre work? I mean, there are many reasons. Yeah. I think one point I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy in, in what we are doing. And yeah. I found, I think, a group of people and always new people and old people and we are living together. Mm -hmm. So what should I do? These are <laughs> not politicians. If I would live with politicians, I would make politics, I guess. Yeah. So that's just my milieu. No? And I'm, I'm extremely happy in it. On the other hand, what we did in South Italy, mm -hmm. what we did with the Congo Tribune, yeah. I mean, actually, it is the first and at that moment only... A economic world tribunal that is existing and getting more and more independent from us and from, yeah. from other institutions. More, it's more now a real institution. It's yeah, not hundred percent, but oh. it's close to, mm. and it has a real influence. And uh, doing this on a on a classical, political, legal way, uh, it would take two generations. 
Yeah. You know? That's, I mean, for me, art always has this revolutionary But impulse of just let's do it. Of occupation, I of, don't of, think so. of being fast, some you know. Examples: is, Why do two generations, um, um, such institutions as? No, uh, but why? I mean, Katrin, why don't we have a legal uh, uh, world economic tribunal? Why yeah. don't we have it? Yeah. Because they are the nation states, they're the big enterprise, and so on. And everybody is against it. Yeah. And. Outside the legal institutions, outside the political institutions, you can create it, then more and more yeah. include, you know, the set, say, classical institutions and make it slowly real. And mm. that's what I like in this way of, of kind of anarchistic work yeah. that you can do as yeah. an artist, yeah. that you can just say, uh, let's, do a, let's just do a revolt in South mm. Italy, let's occupy houses, let's... Uh, I don't know, let's mm. install the law of humanity and let's do it. Mm. And you can, you, it's, it's super difficult. Mm. And mm. as I said, normally it ends in, in complete failure and mm. absurdities, but you can go many steps very mm. fast. Mm. And, um, That's right, yeah. And um, yeah, it's, it's it, uh, really, it's I have to yeah. come back. It's, there is such a beauty in this kind of, 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 this, of this energy of solidarity, yeah. which is the work of theater, Uh, that I, I uh, uh, yeah, I couldn't do something else, I think. Uh, uh, okay. Um, I was thinking can, of... Can uh, add okay, something? Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> yeah, um, go on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, um, uh, I think that um, there are two codes of... Um, Uh, um, intervened uh, in, in, in reality. Um, the one is the political way that uh, has a code, a linear code, one thing after the other. Um, it takes time. Um, and every um, step has a time. So, like Milo said, uh, two get generations. Um, art and revolution are um, things that uh, are non-linear. They, they, they uh, break the rules of uh, linear time. So um, in, in practicing art, not even practicing art as a product, like, like Milo said, but a, like a, a process, you, you really change time. Not, not only uh, the re results of time, but you change time. And, and this is, for me, it's, it's, it's the biggest thing art can do. Uh, because because uh, it, if, if you change uh, time, you change reality. Uh, not in a, in a, in a uh, like like uh, social democratic or, or green party uh, type. Uh, let's do this and then and that. No, let's do all, all, all things together in one moment, maybe, and let's see what happens. So, so um, I think you, you, the the the. The best thing in art is you don't know what is happening with the, the, what you are doing because because it it's it really opens future the the, the future for for the, the politicians for the economists uh, for the uh, um, bureaucrats is closed it is it is it's already written yeah. and you as an artist can say no the future is not written, we can <laughs> change it. Yeah, and even the past is unwritten, you know? You can act even on the, the past, state, yes. Even the past is unwritten, you can act on the tradition. Sure. And you can, because there's so many things are forgotten. I think that was uh, today when you said what we will discuss about it, you said, okay, perhaps we will discuss also about looking back. Because when you talk about utopic energy and mm. art and revolution, you always think on projection in the future. <laughs> But I think there are so many revolutions to be done concerning the past, all destroyed pasts by capitalism, for example. I mean, I, I only give one example because we have here on the left, we have Caesara uh, uh, as Antigone. And when you go to the north of Brazil mm. and uh, you, 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 you try there to understand, for example, how sustainability that is existing somehow as a concept in our culture, is there a circle of practices that are existing mm -hmm. but not known 
and not mm -hmm. generally known and how you can how you can uh, interchange that so that's mm -hmm. that's for me super interesting or yeah. when you are i mean last example uh, very yeah, yeah. short uh, when you look back for example uh, on the on the revolution of 89 then what is told about what happened 89 in Romania yeah. and when you look closely what really happens that the stalinist elites become Uh, pseudo-democratic capitalist elites without any change, mm -hmm. then reality is very diff different. And then you have to rewrite the past, mm. you know, in a very classical way of just putting the facts on their place mm. uh, because they are forgotten. Mm -hmm. But let's think about this revolutionary energy um, in art. There is also the problem because... Um, um, there are two problems. One is the media situation. Uh, thinking of the chain, the production chain of art, you need to to um, to get this. Um, uh, yeah, the the, um, the 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 attention of the media, and you can't get hold longer. Uh, you have to 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 create a moment of of, uh, of big uh, attention uh, on the one hand, and on the other hand, you need to to. If you're doing, if you something gets going in this revolutionary situation, afterwards you have to to create somehow, yeah, the institution, the the, the sustainability, the the ongoing of the the political process, and these are the the, the medias, the media, and the, this this um, uh, question of ongoing, yeah, is the, they are the fracture. Points, yeah. When art, when art uh, sticks to yeah. art, and and and, and it has not a really change, but it's only at the, yeah. the end. It was only a theater evening, yeah. Yeah, that's a disappointing the, that's moment. The, yeah, that's the, that's if you the can't, point. If you and can't, I mean the, the, I, I will give you the. Uh, you, you you can intervene in a moment, Georg. I I I think this is the. The older I get, yeah. the more important for me is to connect these two temporalities that mm. you are describing. Yeah. One temporality where time is exploding and you have to pass the, the present and the future together in one evening or in yeah. one week or in one production. Mm. And then somehow you land again in mm -hmm. reality where the politics are, where all the context of the slow, of, of, of the slow processes of change Mühle Ebene. Normally. Yeah, die Mühle Ebene. Yeah. And, uh, and how to bring this together. Yeah. For example, how to sustain the energy of this one week of utopia in 10 years. Mm -hmm. And really to change it. It's very beautiful to occupy a house, but then mm -hmm. live in this house is very difficult. Mm -hmm. For many reasons. Because the people doesn't want to have you in this house. For example, the houses of dignity that we occupied in South Italy. Of course, later we had tend to work together With mm -hmm. the municipality, we had to work together with the with the church, etc. It's a long process, and that's why. And there is all the meaning of uh, school of resistance artists that are professional in being fast mm -hmm. and exploding time, and activists that are professionals to landing these machines mm -hmm. and to preparing the landing and to to bring these two kinds of of, of temporalities together. That's what is, I mean. It's all is about this, actually. Yeah. Everything is about yeah. this. All the criticism yeah. I think you might have about art that is political or politics yeah. that are artificial uh, is about this. How to make, how to create, and uh, we talked about distribution, we talked about the production process. Mm. We talk, It makes no sense if you make one beautiful film like, like uh, Georg describes it. There has to be a whole, you know, a whole a platform, world right? platform yeah. of distribution and people and, and, and so mm. and every film would only be a stone in it but the first and the last film ever made at the same time and i think this balance is is mm. uh, is uh, yeah what is political art actually mm. Mm. you wanted to add something Georg? yeah i, I think <laughs> I, i think uh, that um, critics um, have to learn this lesson too because um, they are uh, like uh, like fetishists about events 
they yeah, see yeah. an event and then they yes. go away and and look for the the other event and um, i think uh, um, for me as a, as a, also as a teacher i i want to to teach my students that you have a not to concentrate only on events but on structures and and uh, try to be not um, uh, at the turning points of processes but uh, to be a friend of processes to be a a companion of of artistic processes go with them uh, try to to understand what uh, de is developing not what is the pro product? The, the the final product. The, the final product is is not is, is bullshit. <laughs> Even if it's may be very beautiful or so, but uh, uh, talking about a final product is in itself, I think, uh, a capitalist myth. So um, you have to learn as a critic, as a theorist, as a uh, maybe also as a journalist, uh, you have to learn to accompany uh, these processes. And um, yeah, this is uh, hard to get into uh, heads, which uh, uh, look, uh, how can I make some money with my event uh, journalism? So um, <clears throat> I think um, we, we, the, the question is not um, if we um, need media for um, mm -hmm. political purposes, but the question is always if I change a political situation, I always have at the same time change the media and if if i don't get to change the media i don't change anything so um maybe in um, grounding this uh, problem is is kind of a class struggle uh, you know, it's it's uh, all our media and all our understanding of art uh, is um, connected, uh, I think, with middle class uh, uh, self uh, um, understanding, um, and is is connected with with um, uh, let's say the stability of the system, um, even if it's is it if it's uh, critical, uh, uh, the system needs. Some some critic uh, points of view, some some uh, inter interferences, and and I, I think maybe um, as as an artist as well as a theorist, um, we have to develop consciousness of um, the the youth, uh, the uh, system makes out of uh, art and out of uh, um, theory and that means uh, really um, that that um, we, we 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 can't pause <laughs> this is uh, the the great biggest problem uh, of course uh, going back sometimes means yeah uh, getting down uh, uh, calming down and, and okay let's let's write a, a, an individual poem also so it's you you need it because you you get crazy if you are a hundred percent in in that activity but you 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 um, don't have to uh, forget that everything you do in this field um, is part of um, uh, a more dimensional change and if you forget one of the dimensions um, you lose the changes you you made in in, in the first dimension so uh, if if you write a beautiful uh, play without changing theater as an institution mm. the play will do nothing but uh, will be um, Let's say um, uh, pray <laughs> to 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 the market. <laughs> mm.
Yeah, mm. absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, we have already some questions of uh, from the audience. Um, I would first um, uh, come to this question: um, what we, how we can face the the pandemic situation at the moment, and I would combine it with a small statement that uh, we face at the moment also a, a wave of um, new activism in art. So it seems to be somehow connected uh, the situation of the pandemic and the, the this new wave uh, we we can face. Uh, um, I mean, uh, uh, maybe yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a very good question. We had the the sad answer. I mean, the general sad answer in the beginning from from Georg. I think that when he said the bigger are becoming bigger, the smaller are becoming smaller. Actually, because a system that is close to fail but is too big to fail would get mm. more conservative than it was before the pandemic. Mm. So what we see is that, for example, I am. The artistic leader of the IAPM and I am the artistic director of the Entegend and of course Entegend is no problem because it's a big institution and mm -hmm. IAPM uh, was from the beginning on in very big problems and mm -hmm. still is just economically because we can't tour and so on. On the other hand I think what is happening and I'm really now not going into the big big picture yeah. um, but only talking as an artist perhaps in another moment we can talk about supply chains we can talk about economics but in the art we are seeing two things. Yeah. One thing is that the fight against author rights yeah. uh, made a big step during this pandemic. Yeah. For example, for the first time, I could distribute what I do in the very moment or in, in some minutes, I can distribute my films for free. I mean, while we are in cinema with the new gospel, we will distribute it for free here in the Academy of the Arts and in some other platforms on Sunday. Mm. This would have been absolutely unthinkable <laughs> a year ago. Yeah, right. And it's 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 crazy. For example, the people in Congo can watch the Congo Tribunal. Before it was just like uh, you can't because there is no distribution mm -hmm. system, there's no distribution, and so on. So these things. On the other hand, you of course you have the virtual economy, you have Netflix, etc. And now you have to see that you develop distribution systems that yeah. are taking over in another way that out author rights that are going away from the classical players and not just directly to Amazon and Netflix, yeah. as an example. Yeah. Uh, last question is, we are talking here inside the Academy of the Arts in an evening, but why are we always meeting in the evening and inside in theatre? <laughs> why not out outside in the morning? You know, I mean, all these things that we never. There are questioned. some answers. <laughs> there, there, are, there, the there are some is answers. Still in the morning. <laughs> yeah, because we say work and then fun, and art is fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But we could also say yeah, first yeah. art and yeah, work. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just yeah, now yeah. a bit uh, 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 thinking about what we are forced to do yeah. because we can't do it otherwise. When we do it in the right way, mm. is it fine? Today I had a big discussion with my. Uh, with, 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 with my uh, co-workers from, from a play that we will stream live at the, at the, at the International Theatre in Amsterdam. And parts of them, because they are organized in movements against streaming, because the streaming is a big problem for live arts, they are against it. And another part says, but it's good to do it. So it's really like, I mean, we have to politicize all these things before mm. they get out of our hands. Mm. And it's just like this again and Netflix takes it over. So I think it's, it's still a moment. It's perhaps already in some, let's say, parts of this, of this new system too late, of mm. course. Uh, but there are still other uh, uh, parts of the system where we can still act. But this is the work we have to do now to yeah, the platforms it, to... To, to yeah, we have, we have, we have, I, I give you one example yeah. to, to end with because this is for me now kind of, as, as Georg said, it's not about doing art, it's about changing the institutions in which the ways of distributions you would get, uh, uh, you would make this art that when we had to decide what do we do with this, this Jesus film we did. Mm. Um, and then we said, okay, we can give it to Netflix, we can give it to Amazon or we can create a platform, connect this platform to now 100 cinemas and when you go on this platform, you buy a ticket, buy a cinema, and you support the cinemas. Mm. So that's, but it was very complex that people would understand how you could get uh, this ticket and so mm. on. And, 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 but in the end, it paid off. Mm. And, and that's the last thing, <laughs> as I'm anyway there holding a monologue now. <laughs> I, I, I was always so impressed how simple and fast everything goes, even if it seems not planned by the system. Yeah. You can, I mean, 
it's so simple sometimes. You have just to insist a bit and then it it works out. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes, no? yeah. Katrin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Georg. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I um, I, I think that the, the, the uh, artists and and uh, their friends have to uh, be more nomadic uh, um, because um, the the institutions um, are weak in in uh, um, in in uh, defending themselves that that is what we we uh, witnessed in in the pandemic uh, the public spaces uh, that safe spaces so called um, which uh, are, I, I, I would say uh, guaranteed by by uh, society by by the, the state um, the, these these safe spaces for for art uh, we lost uh, in in a in a certain uh, way and and we will not um, be able to to get them all back so um, we we are forced outside our also uh, we are forced to to go out our uh, our, our comfort zones. You know, we just just thrown out of of uh, the function uh, of art and uh, critic and and theory that uh, we are were used to, and that's a big chance, I think, uh, because um, we we are a lot more unsecure. Uh, also, uh, especially for for the young. Uh, um, uh, uh, artists and uh, the, the the young uh, uh, critics, um, but but uh, we feel um, this freedom um, in in uh, the, this freedom the, that is not the the uh, neoliberal uh, freedom uh, of uh, making your career or making it not, but a, a, a more existential. Uh, essential, essential uh, um, freedom, and uh, the the freedom. Um, I think um, we we can use to refound some ways of distribution, some institutions, um, some spaces, some public spaces, um, with. I mean. A, a new energy. Uh, the, the, I, I think this new energy has to come out of Asia, uh, because uh, um, um, we, we we can analyze that um, the art nearly nearly uh, has become um, uh, a, a fraction of creative uh, so-called uh, creative economy and and this is uh, in, in in my researches uh, in, in my um, uh, talking uh, with uh, responsibles in, in uh, big uh, companies um, this is the real aim um, of both the political parties and the uh, uh, economy so-called online economy um, to um, make art part of creative economy and uh, um, the, the, all the, the you know the, the so-called help the November help uh, from from the German government um, everything the bureaucracy that uh, come, comes with it everything was um, aimed for two two things uh, to make um, the big companies more capable to buy out the artists to make the artist cheaper you know uh, you make your you your, uh, you you um, lose the rights of your own work like 
in the first place uh, the workers and and second uh, the the white collar workers now the artists are in the same situation that they are alienated from their own um work you know uh, it's it's very very simple it, uh, working for for the movie industry for for the television industry but it it's also in the in the uh, other forms of of art um you you take away the rights from the producers and give the rights to the uh, so-called uh, right owners you know the, not 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 you as a producer of art are uh, in 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 um, in possession possession of of your work and so and uh, you have to 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 buy it to to survive and and uh, it's it's like uh, in in the situation of this pandemic crisis, um, a lot of artists had to buy, no, had to sell their their, their rights, has to had to sell their their uh, possibilities just to survive, and they had to to uh, sell the rights to be controlled institutions that were more or less free before the uh, pandemic crisis um, now are controlled to the last penny to <laughs> the last member um, that that uh, is to say that um, we not only have um, a, a economic change through the pandemic crisis but also a, uh, um, an increasing um, increasing power of control, stately and uh, economically of art, and um, I think this creates an. I hope so. <laughs> it creates an angel, and and it creates an energy for 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 um, artists to say no, we 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 can't go on like this. Mm. We 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 don't don't get used to to be treated like that, um, and and so the the the, the, the this is the, the my my personal uh, um, uh, uh, utopia uh, that the, the the artist that has to be um, liberate it's himself or herself. Mm. Um, gets to uh, liberating the rest of the world. Mm. Mm. I think the, the, um, the, there's another possibility uh, which is taken very often or chosen very often that you can change the, 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 the media you are doing. So filmmakers starting to write uh, a book or uh, to to yeah, to build a, a different contexts and to 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 uh, to uh, get hold of your own work in another way. So that's what what you were mentioning about the the context building, the the pro the processing of your artwork. Uh, then you can gain it back, yeah, get it back. Yeah, I'm afraid now we have to. We have to come to an end. Yeah, we have to come now to, uh, to an end. Ah, in six. in six minutes, we <laughs> we have, will have a shift of topic, and we will meet uh, the last days of the Georgescus. Um, maybe uh, for a short last statement, Milo Rau, um, you you would you would like to add to this. Uh, something otherwise i would start to talk about the situation of literature and about <laughs> writing people <laughs> because maybe we are the, the ones <laughs> i don't know i saw i saw i, I don't know if you saw it but there was one uh, question by yeah. the public yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I i'm not sure if um, i remember well but it was kind of how do you deal that there are real expectations mm -hmm. and there's the art yeah that for example when you do a world parliament or yeah. do a, a yeah. campaign yeah. like the so, de la Dignita, answer short where, answer Okay, three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no short answer. I think it's really all in the in the in the balance of the system you have. Of course, I'm an artist. I love disruption. Yeah. I'm in that way kind of a, 
let's say, anarchistic character. Yeah. But what I try is to surround me with people that is activists. Mm. And again, it's art and activism that is working in the long term, that knows mm. how to implement, that knows what they need. And from the beginning on, mm. long before the mm. beginning, in the moment when we are landing somehow in, in Mosul or South Italy, we are for five years working with these yeah. people or with... It's these networks so you can't mm. you can't just arrive i mean people yeah. is really i mean a lot of and that's what you described about critics critics think that you can land somewhere but you can't land perhaps a journalist can land an army can land but an artist that is doing this kind of art we are doing you can't land at all mm. so you have really to be super well prepared and i think this is this is this is uh, this yeah. is the point this is actually the yeah, point i would as a writer i would say it's the same you uh, yeah. it's it's This working, talking to these people, working, building up some relations. Yeah, and But you can just you can <laughs> just you can just publish uh, whatever you want to publish because you have to be, uh, I don't know, you have to you have to make a yeah. product that everybody would agree. This yeah. is also a very interesting point. Yeah, of collective yeah, yeah, yeah. Work, that, that you that's, can just, that's, I mean, the same when you are kind of uh, yeah. talking with people and then they become yeah, yeah. figures in a play. <laughs> They have to agree to be these figures, yeah, yeah. and that's that's a so oh, complex yeah, process. That, that that's the complex. Where problem, I would yeah, like yeah. that really, uh, as the third, uh, we have your activists and you have artists, and then you have of course critics. Yeah. Uh, that the critics would be more, let's say, embedded in these processes to 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 find a language to describe it, and not this kind of of very conservative good and bad language of yeah. a product that is visited whenever yeah. at a certain moment. So yeah. I mean. Even if I'm, of course, depending yeah. from this uh, and then because I am depending of it and every artist, as you say, from the way of distribution, the way of being distributed or not because of criticism and whatever, um, that's why I say let's work closer, oh. let's work closer together. That's Let's the answer. Integrate That's the, the answer. But I have to admit, we have to close, to close yeah. now. Um, we will see, uh, and, and, and we can. We are able to watch the the movie, the last days of the Ceausescus, uh, in uh, at 7 p.m. But uh, anyone who is watching it uh, now at the moment on Facebook has to change to the the website of the Academy, uh, www.adk.de, uh, uh, and um, we can uh, watch the movie. And afterwards, we we will meet Ayal Weizmann. Uh, the Israeli founder of forensic architecture, the historian uh, Sandra Frimmel, um, the director, the film director An Andrei Ujika, and the academy member Matthias Lilienthal, Milo Rau, and moderated will be the session by Martin Waldes Stauber. Thank you very much, uh, Georg uh, Seeslen. Uh, in Kaufbeuren, <laughs> close to us. Thank you, Georg. Thank you, Milo. <laughs> Thank you, Katrin. For talking to us. And, and www.adk.de adk .de for the film itself. Yeah. It's not Because if not, Facebook, we lose the Facebook right anymore. to Facebook. No uh, Facebook exactly here. exactly what <laughs> this <guy. laughs> Okay. We want to stay the owners of this film, so not, we don't bring yeah. it to Facebook. That's, that's, uh, yeah, that's the point. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.